think one of the biggest mistakes I see, uh, especially new leaders make, is they try to make all the decisions themselves. <clears throat> if they're working on a project or they're working on some initiative, they want to prove their worth. And they think the way to prove their worth is to make a bunch of decisions, make them themselves, to show, them, show everybody how smart they are and that they understand the business, they understand the direction we're going, uh, and make these decisions and try to, try to roll out and go forward. And invariably, I see them struggle with this because the decisions are not as well thought out as they should be. They did not get proper input from others, people on their team or, or on other teams, and it ends up really coming back to biting them, ends up slowing them down in the long run, and they end up having to circle back and kind of redo the decision, which makes everything slow down and, and look worse. And what I try to teach them, teach leaders here at Service Express, and, and I want to share with others is get surround yourself with really smart people and get them involved in your decisions. As CEO of Service Express, I mean, I, I barely make any decisions on my own completely. And it's not that I can't or I don't have the authority, and it's not about authority, it's about making the right decision. And, and so I have a great team that I've surrounded myself with and I have great smart people throughout the company with various backgrounds and, and expertise in different areas. And so if I have something on my mind, um, I always go to other people and bounce the idea off of them first and get their perspective and their input. And sometimes before the idea is even finished coming out of my mouth, I've already, you know, I've talked myself out of it because it just sounds dumb when I, <laughs> when I say it. Um, but oftentimes they'll, they'll have a viewpoint or perspective or some other data that will really help kind of, kind of fully develop my idea. And we'll talk about that, and so then when I roll out the idea, it's, it's much more thought out. And I think that's a, that's a sign of strength. Again, new leaders try to prove themselves and show how smart they are by making decisions by themselves, and I think it does the opposite. Quit trying to do things by yourselves. That shows weakness. That shows you know, lack of confidence. Surround yourself with smart people and utilize them and, and get their thoughts and inputs on that. Uh, that's made me a way better, better leader, and your team loves that. They want to be asked their opinion. They want a seat at the table and they want to have input, and it's better for everybody. And once again, if you slow down enough to do this, it will help you go faster in the future. And, and just to be clear, by the way, um, I don't think, you know, I'm not a person who doesn't make decisions. I don't think I have that reputation around here at all. So it's not like I try to get a bunch of opinions and I'm afraid to make a decision. Uh, I'm not afraid at all. I mean, my whole theory is make a decision. If it's not the right one, make another one. Uh, but you still want to have it fully thought out. And I'm not talking about committees, which I even hate that word in that term and, and having consensus around the table from some kind of committee before you go and decide anything. I'm not talking about that at all. I get everybody's opinions. A lot I agree with, some I don't agree with, but I appreciate the perspective. But it still comes down to then the leader can make the decision, but again, it's a more fully thought out, developed idea and thought process before they go do it. So, so show strength, surround yourself with the right people, ask their opinions, listen to them, uh, before you roll out your opinion tonight, and I promise you, your ideas will take off much faster and go much farther when you do that.